Hey guys, today we're going to talk about thermal conductors and insulators. First, if you remember, thermal energy is the energy of moving particles. A thermal conductor is any type of material that allows thermal energy and, and the product of thermal energy is heat to flow through it. For example, I have it with me a pot of coffee that I recently brewed. It's still very hot. If I were to touch the bottom of this, I'd be burned just from touching it. The material of, uh, is glass with a, with a metal bottom. The burner that the coffee pot sits on allow, generates thermal energy and allows the heat to, to travel through it, therefore making this pot of coffee hot. Heat energy wants to spread out. And in this diagram, I've demonstrated a, a cup of hot water. The heat energy re is represented by the red arrows it wants to flow out in all directions. So if you, we go back to the, the pot of coffee, in this case, if I touch it, it's very hot because heat energy was able to go through this glass and the metal bottom because glass and metal are good conductors of thermal energy, meaning it allows thermal energy or heat to travel through it very easily. Now you'll notice I'm not holding it from the bottom because I burn myself. I'm actually holding it from the plastic handle. By me holding it from this handle, I'm not feeling any heat at all. Plastic is a good example of what we call a thermal insulator. A thermal insulator is any type of material that slows down the flow of thermal energy. So in this case, the heat from the coffee is not flowing through the plastic and I'm protecting my hand. Think about it like this, if you're at home and you're baking cookies, when you get ready, you put your cookies in the oven, you get ready to take it out after they bake. baked, they're ready to go, they smell wonderful, you go and reach in, you usually, if you're smart, you'll put something over your hands, a, a towel or a hot pad or something, because you're wanting something to prevent the thermal energy from the pan of cookies, you're trying to prevent that heat from flowing into your hands causing you a burn, so you'll take out an oven mitt or a, uh, a towel or something to slow down. Now. The big difference that I want you guys to remember is that with thermal insulators, thermal insulators are a little bit different than electrical insulators. We know electrical insulators are uh, insulators that, are, that block the flow of electrical energy. Thermal insulators are a little different. Thermal insulators just slow the flow of thermal energy down. Eventually the heat will come out. For example, it's cold outside today so I brought a jacket to school. When I go outside I put the jacket on to create insulation, to keep my body heat inside and therefore keeping me warm. So if it, temperatures get too low, then eventually no matter whether I zip up this jacket or not, my body heat will escape. So really the jacket is a thermal insulator because it slows down my body heat from escaping. Just like the insulation in your house keeps your house warm in the wintertime and cool in the summertime. 